Hey, I'm John Siskovich. And I'm Troy Bishop, the Grass Whisperer. And Troy is going to show me how to do a forage test to check the quality of your pasture. Troy, <laughs> I'm sitting here with my knees in the grass and you have papers in an envelope. What's happening? Uh, I thought I'd take a forage test on the third or last one of the last days of grazing and see measure the forage quality. So how do I, what, what's the first step? I want to find out where I get those papers and envelope. Where do I go to do that? So you go to Dairy One in Ithaca, New York, or you can check Dairy One Lab on, on the, the internet, and you can get a I'll, forage I'll find it, and I'll put, I'll put the link in the notes for okay. the video. How about so, that? So when you get a packet, uh, or you can go to your conservation district or um, Cordon Coiffer Extension locally and probably get one. Yeah, all right. So, so they give you a bag. And it's you, like a Ziploc baggie. It's a Ziploc baggie, and you're going to take a forage sample. So when you take a forage sample, you try to get a representative sample of what the cows are eating. So you you take the, some of this, you take the old, you know, some Forbes. You're just making salad. I'm making salad, you know, some old dandelions. You've got to get some some of these older stuff, right? So you're, whatever, shoot, you're shooting for diversity, what yep, the cows would whatever be Whatever a cow would eat. They're not going to eat all the way down. But you're you're gonna take what you think they're gonna eat. And then you get a wad like that. All right. I mean, at least I do. I don't know what the folks at the lab think of me, but uh, maybe I, we'll contact them and make maybe. a video at the lab. So I I put it in the bag. You, you know, you put a sample in the bag, fill it up, and We've what you want to do? A wad of grass. A wad in of the bag. grass. Don't which, get caught by the police with that. <laughs> this is legal grass, John. Oh, sorry. So and you want to write down wh when you took it. You yep. know, the date um, and, and the field number that you took it out of, yep. paddock number, so the folks at the lab will have something to write down to give you feedback. And when you get your feedback, you can apply that information to your grazing chart and your grazing plan, right? Or your ration. Or your ration. Your ration, what you're feeding the cows. Is this going to be adequate for the yeah, cows yeah. or animals you're trying to grow? So what I do is immediately or very soon after a forage test to stop the respiration in the bag is put yep. it in the freezer. Okay, so yep. you put it in the freezer, then when you're ready to send it, this will be basically overnighted because it's perishable. See, it says perishable plant yep. sample. And what you'll, you'll actually fill out a form, of, you know, what kind of grass it is, what kind of management, what kind of test do you want? Do you want minerals? Do you want the full basic? Do you want all kinds of you can get a lot of stuff a out lot of, your of grass. stuff right. um, generally I'm gonna go with a basic or a basic plus minerals which will be about between 18 and 25 dollars a sample so yeah. it's not cheap but it is you know comprehensive yeah so then when you what happens is you you get a, a report back and this is from last year and I actually took it on December 1st. Today's December 8th. Yeah. And this was stockpiled forage. That's what it says, mature forage. Yeah, yeah. And, and the protein content of that pasture, and it said that I'm going to be in field 7, which yeah. this is field 8, back behind me is field 7, that grass like this that have been resting for a long time yeah, was 16% yeah. protein, which is pretty better good. Than, better than most hay. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you can look at the mineral. F My broiler chickens eat eighteen percent protein. Yeah. It, so the relative feed value. There's there's lots of things that you can use and work with a yourself or work with a nutritionist to find out if this is good feed for the kind of animals that you're growing. Is it a dairy cow? Is it a lactating ewe? Is it a dry cow? And generally speaking, it gives you a snapshot in time. Yeah. And it helps you focus your energies on this is what I want to grow or um, boy that's not going to work for my cows I'm going to have to supplement um, grain or hay or some other feed component um, for these these gals back here that are, are bred and going to have a baby in April and May yeah um, this feed is perfect for awesome. them and they you can see from their body condition that they they really appreciate it yeah yeah, your cows look awesome. So, so for eighteen dollars, twenty-eight dollars, um, you get a snapshot in time, and then you, again, it, it's it's a decision-making tool, and once in a while, it's good to measure. If you have any questions on this, leave it in the comment section below. 
I will take some copies of Troy's stuff and find all the links and information and share that as well so you don't have to do the legwork. It'll be done for you. And, uh, yeah, do you have any, any parting messages, Mr. Bishop? Keep on grazing, man. <clears throat> Your boy. We ready? Thank God I'm a country boy. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs>